So now we're going to do, are you ready? We're going to do the topper. All right. The very final thing is going to be the lipstick, a whipstick, and the blush, and the highlighter, which is where I really get the glow. So there's the, there's the hair, such as it is. You can see my balayage is almost grown out, the bad balayage. Does it look blue? Somebody tell me, does my hair look blue underneath? Because I used my balayage purple shampoo. I only use it, use it on the bottom because of this. And, but I can't tell. It depends on your monitor. All right, so get all your hair back. Um, now, it depends. Sometimes I'm going to pull my hair out, you know, underneath the the topper and sometimes I'm not. We'll just see what happens. Uh, I think for now I will leave a little bit of it out. So here we go. I almost feel like I should pray or something before I do this. Like I've never put a topper on, I don't think, live. Well, maybe I have, maybe back a couple of years ago. All right, so I'm just gonna keep that little piece and hopefully I have some clips here. In a perfect world, I would have clips. Is today going to be a perfect world? <laughs> yeah. That's a good look, right? That's a really good look right there. Okay. So now what you're going to do is... You're going to take some wig hairspray. Actually, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use my Tresemme. Where is my Tresemme? It's right here. And I'm going to spray what I don't want to show away from my face, just to kind of hold it a little bit until I get the topper on. All right. hold it into place. The topper is almost the same size as my hair, length as my hair. So here she is. Here's top billing by Raquel Welch. Let me show you the cap first. Put this up here so I can see. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, Top Billing by Raquel Welsh. She is a lace front. We love lace fronts. Admittedly, they are more difficult, challenging, I should say, to use. Um, this is the only one of my toppers, and I have three of them or four of them now, that has wefting. Wefting, we call this thing that looks like railroad tracks. Um, not sure if I'm really crazy about the wefting, because sometimes it can show when the wind blows, but jury's still out on that. I haven't worn this for a whole day yet. Um, and she has four combs, one, two, three, four, no combs in the front, which is why we need the glue, or she's going to ride back. She has a monofilament top, right? which means that you can part her wherever you see this. You can part her in the middle. You can part her here. You can part her there. And all these labels at some point I'll take off. She is an average size, but in the topper world, you can get away with a little bit more than the wigs than in the wig world. Remember, if you're going to buy a wig, always measure. Okay, so that's that. I want to give her one more. She's in the color. 5660, which is a combination of white, 60 is the color white, and 56 is in, um, is in the gray family. It's really like a dark brown. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn her over so that she's looking like this. So her labels are down toward the floor. 
But before I put her on, I've got to put on some It Stays. Now, It Stays is body glue. It Stays is used for people who have prosthesis. Prosthesis, is that what they call it? Um, for people who, uh, uh, well, if they have a prosthesis, you know, they need this. It's body glue. It will not hurt you. It's water soluble. It's, uh, I'm not allergic to it and I'm allergic to everything. Um, it's just a wonderful product and it's not expensive. It's in my Amazon store. You just find, just find it by going, it stays. And so what you do, it's like roll on deodorant, take off the top, get it going on your hand just like deodorant. I really should have stored it upside down, but I forgot. So now you can see it's 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 glistening there. It's light, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little bobby pin out. Let that hang down and go back up. The things we do, right? <laughs> and now you're going to Put the It Stays right on top of your hair. You don't re really need a lot. I'm only going like a quarter of an inch in. How do you get it off? You're thinking, what happens? You just moisten your fingertips in, at night when you're ready to take it off or whenever. And I don't use the It Stays unless I know the, 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 the topper or the wig is going to be on me for hours. I just, I just don't use it. Okay. So um, you just put it where you want it, and that's typically where I want, wherever the lace front is. And then just wait about 30, 60 seconds. You know, if you have a little fan, you can use your fan. Um, tell me in the comments, do you see blue here? I see, it looks like a little light purpley-ish. <laughs> Marilyn, remember when I used to get my hair done with the little blue? I had a little blue streak in there. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I will now put my whipstick on. This is Charlotte Tilbury's. I never can remember the name of this. I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll use my magnifying glass later and see what the name of this is. Um, so just put your lipstick on. That's the base. I'll use the, the very final gloss goes on last. Okay, so she should be ready by now. So what we're going to do is, now she comes with bangs. She comes with bangs, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those bangs yet. Hold on, I've got glue. I'm using alcohol here, which you, you can use that 70% isopropyl alcohol to disinfect your brushes and even your powders. So now... I've got I've got the um, the base toward the floor. The combs are all open. Make sure your combs are all open. And now we're going to place it. So just kind of tilt your head back, look in the mirror, and decide where you want it. Now, I have a widow's peak, so that makes everything challenging. I'm going to push it back just a little bit. I'm not going to bring it right toward the edge of my hairline. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. And what I'm doing now is I'm kind of stretching it because I know that those combs, I want to pull those combs down and then push them, hold it tight on the top, pull it down as much as you can, and then push up on the comb and then close the comb. Now, these combs are hard to close. Some are easier. These are a little harder. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why that one isn't closing. Okay, and then we're going to go get the other one. Again, pull it down. You should hear a snap. I'm not hearing a snap. There it goes. Okay. 
Let me make sure the other one is okay. Now um, you can see where it is, right? Now remember, I've got bio hair here, but I'm going to take it and just pull it as much as I can where I want it, and then I'm going to push. Now I didn't clip the back ones yet, so I'm going to go underneath as much as I can, get my hands underneath and push down and hold. There goes that snap. Push down and hold. Hang with me, ladies. <laughs> push, 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 push. And then you're just going to hold it here for about a minute or so. If it's sticky, if your hands get sticky, just take a little bit of water, whatever liquid you have, because this is going to dry and it's, it's, if it feels sticky, it will dry, I promise. What's this? I have something over here. What is that? Well, that's my hair. See, now here's a good example right here. I got some glue down here, which I didn't really, really want the glue down there. So I'm just going to take it and go right over. You know what it's like? It's kind of like hairspray when it dries. That's exactly what it's like. And you just moisten it and it comes right out and it doesn't hurt. I've seen Jill over at Jill Lynn Beauty Therapy and she takes the unit or the, or the hair piece, and she just lifts it right up off her head. I can't do that. It, it kind of hurts me a little bit to take it off that way. So again, get your fingers up there, rub it in. And that's it. Okay, so now it's, isn't that a good look? <laughs> so now um, you're gonna go back at that, go after that comb. Oh, before you, before you re um, close the back combs, <clears throat> Remember I told you there's wefting. Make sure that wefting is lying flat. Then, I hope you can see this, pull, pull down the top and then pull down and push up on the comb and then snap. Same thing with the other side. Make sure the wefting is laying flat. That's why I'm not real crazy about the wefting, but oh well. Okay, so then snap. So there she is without being combed. And I'll give you another spin as soon as I'm done fixing her. Okay. My hands. Now, let's do this thing. So now, um, we've got that part done. Now here comes, let's see what, ha what has to happen here. So there's my bio hair. I'm just gonna get a little bit more out that I see here. Oh no, I can't, it's underneath. I didn't pull enough out. Anyway, let's leave it like that, okay. So now we're going to take this part here and we're just gonna start messing with it and see how we like it. Remember, it has the monofilament top. It says glue's still a tiny bit tacky, but just start styling it. I usually wear my hair, you know, this way. So I'm styling it this way. So the reason that I pulled the hair out I have a little tiny piece that I wish that I had pulled out but can you see I mean lot of reflection here. Hold on everyone. So this 
See that? Nobody's going to know you have a topper on. If you do that, if you've got hair and you pull your hair out from underneath the, the, uh, the topper, and then your bio hair, I have to fix this spot up here, but your bio, I should have pulled out some more. You can pull that right out. And just bring it toward the front. Now, I have some hairspray. I have wig spray. I'm getting my mom to check this out. <laughs> Gators, you're so funny. Send me a beautiful, a beautiful picture of a morning glory, Ricky. Okay. I got that where I wanted, so I'm using Tresemme. If you don't want to use Tresemme, a, a dear friend of mine, glorious Marilyn, um, who owns a beauty salon, said Tresemme is okay for wigs. Don't load it up, but you know, you can use that. But you could also use, I have this by Jean Renault, holding spray. Holding spray by Jean Renault. You could also use that, whatever you want. Okay, so now we have this side, and unfortunately I got a little bit of glue in there, but it will dry. And then in a moment, I'm going to give you the spin. Now, you could also pull it down. See this spot right here? I don't like this. Just integrate that hair a little bit better. But remember, I pulled out my hair, so because of the fact that I pulled out my hair from under the topper, we're not going for the look of the bangs. But if I wanted to go for the look of the bangs, I wouldn't have pulled out my hair like I did. Here's some of the bang right there. See that? Okay, and then... Let's see what it looks like in the back. I have to fix the front. You just have to work with it a little bit. You know, the first time you get the topper, it's like right now, this is really the first time I put it on very briefly the other day in a video, but I didn't really, 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 really play with it. But now I'm really playing with it. So do I like this topper? I do. I'm kind of waiting for the, the glue to dry. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I put a little bit too much on, but I'd rather make a mistake than not because then when you do it, if you, if you make a mistake, Mistake is the wrong word. You know, you just have to kind of learn how to do it. There's my bio here. I really am trying to get that incorporated with my own hair underneath. But now it's glued to my head. <laughs> okay. I think that's gonna be okay. See, it still keeps falling and I want my hair to, to be back. Let's see if this holding spray does it. Let's see what happens. This is the Jean Renault. Yeah, see, it keeps separating right on that spot. You see, I can see that. I know you can see it too. So let me just continue on with the spin and I'll deal with that. All right. So you can see how it looks in the back. I have to turn the other way so I can see. So I think it looks pretty nice in the back. What do you all think? Looks pretty realistic, right? Blends nicely with your own hair. 
just kind of don't dig with the comb. Just kind of glide over the back of your hair. Now let's go back to the front. Mm. Yeah, see, I've got... I probably should have just left my hair up. I'm trying to go in after more of my bio hair, which is right there, but it's up underneath the comb, so it's not going to happen. But hopefully you get the idea, ladies. Hopefully you get the idea. Should I take it off and do it over again? No. If you didn't pull your bio hair out, you wouldn't see any any um any difference there at all you wouldn't because i had it on the other day but maybe what i can do is just pull this up a little bit more and then i'll spray it again nope Usually my topper is on in three minutes. I'm telling you, something happens when you go live. So much talking. Okay, that's it. Let's get back to finish the makeup. Charlotte Tilbury. This is cheek to cheek in Love Glow. Love glow. So just run it around the outside, then right the top. Don't come down here. Again, on the other side, I'm going to soften it. Don't worry. All right. And then I'm just going to do a little bit up here. A little bit up here. Now, this side, remember I used that for the powder near my nose? I'm just going to brush it off, make sure there's no, no color on there. And we're going to come down, remove this excess, and then up from underneath. Brush it off again. Come down. And then up from underneath. The final thing we're going to do, this thing is bugging me. Mm. I really want to take it off and do it right for you ladies, but the video is getting so long. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put a tiny little clip to kind of train it just for a moment. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny little clip there, and then I'm going to spray it. Okay. Hopefully you get the idea about the topper though. Hopefully. All right. Last thing is put a little bit of lip gloss. Fine. Second last thing. Lip gloss. Whatever you have. This is Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. Put it in the show notes. And the very, very last thing, which gives you a beautiful glow, is It Cosmetics. I've told you about this before. 
And this is Hello Light Illuminating Powder. And I think it even has SPF in it. Um, maybe not. And then you're going to take a fan brush, put it on one side, put it on the other, make a apple and go right, don't go near your nose, go right up on the top of your cheekbone. Don't come past the center of your eye, like that. And the same thing on the other side. You could do a tiny little bit right up there. And you could do a tiny little bit on the Cupid's bow, but I don't do that. That's it. We're done. Pretty much done. So that's it for today's. Yeah, I can give it, if that's only what it took, Shorty, right? We'll conquer the world with a topper. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it, everyone. I hope that it's helped at least one person out there in YouTube land. And uh, yeah, I do like this topper. Would I do it with pulling out my bio hair again? Yeah, I would, but I just, I think I put a little bit too much glue on it. So careful with the It Stays glue. Um, in another probably 20 minutes or so, I could go back in there and, and kind of comb it a little bit and it'll integrate better. But just be careful with the glue. That's all. So thank you for coming and blessings on your head. Stay well and I'll see you next time on Angela's Answers.